Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? I was just clearing my throat, so I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> but if you did, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm here working on another journal. And this is a um, the little duck that I showed you before. I finished the gingerbread man, and that's in my shop. Or, you know, if it's, if it's not sold, it's in my shop. And um, this is a little duck. So this is a little, first little golden book. And we've already... We did this together. We put the um, we took it apart and we put the paper in here. So now I'm ready to add some pockets. And then we're going to do the holes. Hopefully on this video, I want to do the holes and the eyelets. I don't think I showed you how I did the eyelets. If you in case I know I used to before I did eyelets, I watched eyelet videos because <laughs> I wasn't sure how to do them and things like that. So. You know, they're easy, but if you've never done it, you know, it might not be so easy, right? So this is um, the paper pad that I use, a little 6x6 six six for the inside here. So I want to find something in here coordinating with this pretty paper. Uh, was it this? Well, I don't know if it was this paper pad. I think this was this 12x12, 12 12 actually, that I started with. But this paper pad would um, actually... Coordinate. So let's see what I have here. I have some green. Could use a green. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? So the green would be pretty. Let's see what else we have. This one is, yeah, that's green. I've got the striped green, and that would actually be pretty too, wouldn't it? That would be pretty. I could put it either way. You know, it's the same colors pretty much. Um, yeah, this has got some purple. This has all these colors in it, plus some blue. So if we want to, I think I might, I kind of like mixing the patterns if I can when they go. It's just more interesting, you know? So let's see if there's anything else. I've got a solid purple, and I think that's it. Yes, I think I'm going to go with this. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to do it so we don't waste time, uh, you know, being indecisive. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm just going to, the last one, I, I just cut this in half. Let me grab my, I have extra papers here for this journal. Let me move these over here because I need to get my paper cutter. And then we'll move those back if we need them. I always have my paper cutter right behind me. <laughs> I keep it in another place. I say I keep it in another place, but I keep it right there to keep it handy. Because it's just, you know, I like to grab it during videos or, or when I'm not on video. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Last time I tried to cut it smaller and I was like you know what why didn't I just cut it in half <laughs> that would have been so much easier so I just made a little mark there a little fold right where the where it was the um, center cut that in half okay I think you know I, I might need that again I am going to need my scissors because I like to put a little and I said you know in my last journal I was I like to not glue down both sides got my glue over here upside down there we go and uh, I got my uh, Fabri-Tec upside down over there. So I like to just, like, I will put it either this way or this way and have this side, say I put it like this, I glue down this side and the bottom and leave this open and put a little angle here because I like to um, have this side open. It's easier to get things in and out that way. So I'm gonna cut this. And I'm going to try to cut a straight line. So, about right. Let me grab my pencil and put a pencil mark where I'm starting. And then that might work better. Let's see. Let me see my ruler, too. I want to just see which way I want to do it. Yeah, it's usually the um, triangle that I like. I make on a in the middle of a page and I'll do a little triangle and it's the triangle goes this way like it's bigger at the top and the point is at the bottom so it really if I want to do that I should do it this way I think I will do it that way okay I just wanted to this ruler is helping me to see the the uh, angle there okay so I'm going to do it this way like I showed you and I'm going to line it up my paper and make a little mark right here where I need to start cutting and the same thing with this one because I'm going to cut this way and angle that way and this one too okay 
so line it up everything straight line it up on the side and the bottom and oh you know what okay so let me make sure this is upright uh let me do it this way this will be easier i'm going to line it up over here on the edge just like i did that one the front cover make a little line right here okay right I'm gonna move it up so i can see the bottom of the book a little bit there we go so it'll be like right there where i'll start cutting so it's going to be this way all right so the key here is to cut a straight line which is not always easy but just a straight angle so there we go that looks pretty straight and now that's our that can be a little tuck spot or something somewhere else maybe or i'll if I don't use it, I'll put it in the goodie bag for someone else to use as a tuck spot or whatever they want to use it for. Okay, we've got our mark, so let's just cut. Straight angle. There we go. Okay, so these are ready to glue down. I wanted to do it this way this time and just see how it is with um, having the pocket in before I put the holes in, in the cover and the eyelets. Last time I did it, the opposite I put the holes in and then the pockets <laughs> so uh, art glitter glue where are you let me get you over here get you going okay so we're putting glue here and here you can use whatever glue you like to use Fabri-Tac would be awesome too um, I don't have any trouble with art glitter glue sticking permanently and I also use, it just depends on what I'm gluing down as to which, which glue I use, but those are my two main glues that I use for everything. Okay, the key here is make sure your cover is upright. <laughs> I always double check, even though I think it was right, you know what I mean? Like, like you don't want to glue it on the uh, opposite, you want to glue it upside down. Okay, see? Pretty, right? And interesting, the mixed patterns. Okay, so this is going to go down here and here. If we have time, we'll start working on the pages, but I don't know if we'll have time during this video. We'll just see. I have my new timer that I found going. found a new timer on. You know, I, I was timing my videos in a different way because I, you know, my, my phone only lets me do 30 minutes. But uh, I was like, you know, I wonder, you know, YouTube has everything. If you can think of it, it probably has it, right? <laughs> and so I was like, I wonder if YouTube has a timer. Hello. Yes, of course it does. You know, what? A <laughs> and uh, there has lots of timers. So I got to know my timer is a YouTube uh, timer video. So I think it'll help me to stay on track here. But OK, so we've got our pockets. We're gonna, not going to mess with them. We're going to let them dry. We're going to go ahead and punch our holes. I have it set from the last journal, which is the same size as this journal, so we don't have to mess with that now. It's ready to go, I think. We'll see how it lands on. See, this is a little bit on the uh, on the uh, gingerbread man. This was over a little bit, and I did not want to punch, so I moved it around accordingly. So let's see how this looks in here in my hole punch, and I'll move it over a little bit so you can see. I think I have my camera or my phone a little bit lower than I did yesterday. I should have raised it up, which I still can, but uh, let me see. Uh, I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit because I can on this one without punching through my L for little duck. Okay. There we go. That looks good. And it's about the same distance actually from the top and the bottom the holes will be I just want to make sure I don't want to move them because like I said I was working around that G on uh, gingerbread man in the last one and so but the holes were really good in that one so I think I'm gonna leave it so we can save time and not mess around so there you go <laughs> now as long as I don't move this at all this will be the same punch holes, hole punch, you know, for everything. The back cover, the front cover, 
and um, <clears throat> the pages. So here I see I've got my book, I've got this going in the right direction, so I need to punch holes right here. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put our eyelets in. So there we go. Okay, got our covers punched, and see how that goes. That that. I think I have this in my Amazon playlist. I'll look after this video and make sure I do. I mean, not my Amazon. My Amazon store. Hello. <clears throat> so there you go. You can see how you can see straight through there. So you know they are lined up perfectly, really. So let's do our... Let's go ahead and do our... I've got uh, enough... I ordered some new eyelets, but I'm able to use this hole punch is perfect for these um, these uh, bigger eyelets that I thought I couldn't use. I, after I punched these the holes with this, I tried these eyelets. I was like, oh my goodness, that's perfect. So, where's my crocodile? I had it ready. I think it's over here. Hold on. Yes, it is. I put that stuff that I just put over there, I put it right on top of my crocodile. <laughs> so here it is. Let me move that around, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> so it's all set because I just used it on the last journal. It's nice doing kind of two the same size and everything's ready to go. So I'm just going to put these in here. That's all you do. Put your little eyelets in your holes if you have a crocodile. Or, I mean, there's other tools, the other, what they call, that just have the little squeeze tool, you know, and you just squeeze it down. So if you have that, use that. I use my crocodile. And I just squeeze it until I, I squeeze it as hard as I can and try to squeeze it until I hear, hear a little click, like click because it's that's the middle. That's the middle. That's the middle being squished. Let me see if it worked. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Let me try this one. It's not working at the moment. And I want them to squish in there. I might have to wait till I get my new ones if these don't work. Oh, see that one clicked. Okay, see that one worked. Why didn't the other one work? Maybe I didn't squeeze hard, hard enough. All right. Did you hear the click? You see that one's in there. Okay, let's try this one again. Let's try a different one. Maybe that one's defective. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Actually, this one's sm this one's smaller. No, that's the same size. Okay. All right, so it's in there. I see it sticking through. I put a different one in there. The other one, I don't know if it was defective or what, but let's try this one, see if we hear a click. Yep, I heard a click on that one. I don't know if you can hear that, but so those are in there. See, they're not coming out. And they look, no, they look good. Now this isn't rough or anything, so I'm not gonna worry about putting anything there. If you have a rough edge, you can put some washi tape or some fabric on there and then do your eyelets. But these came out so nice, I'm not gonna worry about it. So. You really don't need it. Okay, that's that's a possibly defective one. So I'm going to use a non-defective one. And I have I have a couple more over here. My order my order should come in this by Tuesday. But I only have three left, including the defective one. Okay, make sure I do it the right way. They are sticking through. Yep. Yep, they're sticking through. So they should be able to hear the click. Yep, click. That was a loud one, right? <laughs> That's the metal squishing, squishing together. So it clamps onto the book, right? Yeah, heard a little click on that one. Okay, I think we're good to go, maybe. Yep, they're in there. <clears throat> That's what you want. You don't want them to come out <laughs> and be loose. I like that first one. I said it might be defective. Okay, so we've got our pockets and our eyelets. So, like... I don't have to put my my book rings in here at the moment, but I'll show you. Sometimes what I'll do is just, I'll usually do a few pages first and then put them in there, but I'll just show you as I'm working and I get some pages going, I will put these in here so that as I'm going, I can just put my pages right on there. So like these are ready to go. I don't put the back on yet because I'm putting pages here. So that's, that's not ready for the back. So let me get my book pages. I think we have some time to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and do the book pages if I can find them. Here they are. Oh, I haven't even taken 
Oops, wait a minute. I'm knocking things off the other side of my table. My table's a little square here. So um, let me move this and this, and we'll take our book pages apart. I've got my, I already put my, this over here because I knew I would need it for this. And I don't need this, so let me put that over out of the way. I don't think I need my pencil or my ruler. Oh, I do need to put my pen in my art glitter glue, though. Gotta do that, even though you're on video, because by the time I'm done with this video, it could be dried out. It dries so quickly, it'll just dry itself right out, right? Okay, so for this, all I do is... Let's see, there's a couple different ways to do this. Let me see if I can just... I saw someone do this, I think. They just pulled, but I don't want to rip my pages or anything. Now, see, this is in there good. I might rip my pages if I do it that way. I don't know how they did that. Maybe it was a bigger book. They just pulled this. Um, the covers were on there. That's what it was. I probably should have done this before. I'm going to try that next time. Just pulling the covers. When the covers are on here, you just pull the covers out, and the staples might just pull right out. Um, if it's like this, like I did it already, you can just reach in through the little golden seal here and grab. It's just a little harder. It's a little harder, but a little fiddly. Got to use some finger strength here and hand strength. But uh, you can reach through the little golden seal and pull out your, your staple. Oh, I don't have my... Sometimes I need a little wrench to get the staple out. Let me see if I can pull it with the staple. Yeah, I have a little wrench right here that I use to pull it out all the way. And, and I'll grab that in a second. Let me pull the other staple out here first. You gotta be kind of rough with it as far as getting that staple out, but not you don't want to rip your pages or anything. So that's my my thoughts when I'm doing this. I don't want to rip my pages or, you know, do anything to my page, damage my pages in any way. Yeah, there is a little bit. I think that might be easier. I'm going to try that next time. I probably have done it before. I just forgot, you know, um, how I did that before. And I did it this way this time. But let me grab my um, pliers. Okay. So, yeah, these are my little jewelry pliers that I use for making bee dangles and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so this is just going to see that just prize right out. Let me see if I can get the rest of this with my pliers. Yep, got it, got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is just going to come right off. Well, yeah, it's there's glue in here too, but... The last one was harder to get off out of that glue. That one was easy. Okay, clean up a little bit. And then I just, let me move my ruler. Use my paper cutter and kind of cut off this edge. It was kind of cool doing the last one because that kind of re-familiarized myself with making ring binder journals out of these little golden books. So now, you know, it's like I remember what I did from that one because it was just this yesterday. <laughs> so now this one's coming a little quicker because I remember what I had to do with that one, right? So there's my pages. Now we're going to make sure because I had to cut off. See, this part was in the spine. So that means these pages are going to be too wide because my spine is gone now. See? So I got to cut off that right there too. Let me make a little mark. And I want it inside my my uh, book cover a little bit, so I pull it in a little bit like this. See that part showing right there? Just a tiny sliver. I just don't feel comfortable comfortable with it being right to the edge. If something goes wrong, then you're going to have it sticking out. I don't want anything sticking out of my from beyond my book cover. So just I just put it in a little sliver to be safe. I'll make a little pencil mark here. There's nothing usually over here. It's the spine anyway, so there was nothing there. Usually it's just white space. There's no words. You're not cutting off any words or anything. So you still have your story intact. Cut that part off. It, my, my paper cutter went through the whole book, all the book pages yesterday, I believe. 
We'll see if I'm if I'm telling the truth here. <laughs> Let's see if it works this time. Yeah, this paper cutter is really good. I've had it from the very beginning. It's the first one I bought, and it's been awesome. So if you are looking for an awesome paper cutter that's not too expensive, I got this one from the very beginning when I first started making journals. Fiskers. I got it at Walmart. It's the one with the roller blade. I've never even replaced the blade yet, believe it or not. And I've made lots of journals, <laughs> you know, I've cut lots of paper with that. Okay, so we can check and make sure um, here. Everything looks good. Top, bottom, everything. Uh, yep, it looks good. I mean, it was, it was, it goes right from the top to the bottom, but you're going to have, as long as your holes are in the right place, everything will be copacetic, right? <laughs> so, and we have our, I, I have my, you know, little hole punch set here. So, everything will be in the right spot. You just got to make sure your pages are all even, you know. When you put it in here, I'm going to put it in there. I'm always careful because, you know, there is a possibility that if you're not careful, something could move and then everything will be off. You have to figure out where you were. I didn't move anything just now. Just put it in there, punched my holes. Okay, so we're going to see how we did. I'll go ahead and I'm going to have to take them off because I'm going to put papers in between each one. And we might have a few minutes to start on our pages, but we can look to see how this fits. See, I just put them on like that as I go. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put them on right now. I just wanted to show you how I just put them on there as I go when I'm working on the journal. But um, let me show you how these line up. And you've got it all even, and then there, see, you can see the hole all the way through. <laughs> Doesn't that hole punch help a lot? If you need, if I mean, I got that at the very beginning when I first started doing that. This, I was like. I, and I tried different hole punches. We have a, a sturdy one at work, and I was going to possibly get that one. I brought it home to try it to see if I wanted to get one just like it, and it didn't go through enough pages. This one, I think it says it goes through like 25 pages or something online when I got it. So, you know, and I was like, 25 pages, that's a lot. You know, that would help to ha not to have to do one page at a time or one hole at a time or whatever. And so that's why I got that one. It's a... Uh, it's called biz. It has it says business source here on the bottom of it. It has a little B in a circle and it says business source. Like I said, I'll check to see if I have it in my Amazon store. Okay, so let's see. We have about five minutes or so. So I like to have the first page, a page from the book, if I can. And that's a cute page from the book. None of these pages have any marks on them or anything rips no writing or anything so this can be a first page I can change my mind but um, let's go ahead and say I'm going to start putting my pages in so you just put your little rings in and I can do this go ahead and put that as my first page but the cool thing about <laughs> doing it this way is you have options the whole time you're working on this. You can just move our things around even at the very end and you're done. You're like, I don't like that. You just switch it up. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of papers I have. I have that one pa paper pad that we use. So we should use some more of those, right? And I have some matte paper. Uh, let's see. I have a bunch of stuff here that I plan on putting in the pockets because I kind of got it organized when I was working on the last journal. So all this stuff is either going to go in the pockets or the goodie bag. Uh, let's see. So all this stuff is for pockets and goodie bag. See, as I was getting the other one ready and getting pulling things out, I pulled it out for this one too. Here's an index card I want to put in here. And these I put in envelopes, so I'm not ready for those. This I want to put in here, divider card. And these are all pocket things. Uh, yeah, that's a pocket thing. The, the uh, you could make it if you. I have some of the stronger ones. I should get them out. I should get one out and put it in here. Uh, these guest checks. These are the paper ones. I'll get. I have cardstock ones too. I think I'll get one of those out and put it in here. Uh, these I put in the goodie bag. 
Let's see, I'm just trying to find things I'm using for pages here. This is all the goodie bag and pocket stuff I have already pulled out. <laughs> so this one's going to come together pretty quick because I already went through my stash on the last one and pulled out all this stuff. Cards and things. Okay. This is in case I need to glue, but I don't need to glue right now. Uh, I might need to glue for pockets, but I won't need that. So, oh, here's my paper pad. Okay. Let me grab that. I've even got ledger paper to put in here. And other papers over there. Okay, so let me put all those goodies over there. And um, I've got a bingo card looking at me right here. Let me grab that. Let's just see if that'll fit in there. And here's my little pad of guest checks. These are the cardstock ones. These are cool for pages. It's cool to have different size, size pages in here too. So there we go. Got one of those. And so let's go, let's go. I have just a few minutes left to start on the pages and then I'll have to do another video on this one. But I wanted to do the eyelets because I, I don't know, I just got going and didn't uh, do the eyelets on the last video and just, you know. I had one of my subbies, thank you very much for telling me that you, you know, wanted to see all the steps that helped me remind me that yes, I do need to <laughs> slow down and do it on video instead of just keep on going. I, I just keep on going after the video sometimes and just just keep on going. Okay, so all these can be pretty pages. I don't want to have too many of these because they're white on the back, actually. I like to put, I'll put a couple of these and make pockets maybe on the other side so I don't have stark white. But white, I mean, white is good because you have, you know, you can put your own thing on there. So I don't mind a couple. I just don't want the whole journal to be all white. Um, so... I think I'll use, I like the, I have a lot of purple here. This one has something going on here. I can cut that off. See, these are too wide, so I can make pockets or foldovers or something. But I might do one of each color on this paper pad and then leave that. So let's do a, see if we can do a few of these so you can, you can see what's going on. So I just take one of my pages. So this is the next page. And kind of measure with that and make sure I don't cut it or anything when I'm cutting with if I'm, you know using it as a template so see this is um, this is actually perfect for a little fold out see it's enough to fold out fold in and not you know it's not just a little sliver you know if it was a little sliver I just cut it off but it's enough to fold over and make a little make a little um, fold out or a little side tuck or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and just this this is cardstock, but it's not. I have another paper pad here that is so thick that you have to score it before you fold it. This is thick, but it's not so thick that I have to score it. It's just it's see it just folded really easily. And now it's ready to, to punch. I'll just go ahead and punch it. I've got my hole punch right here. Boom. You know, I'll leave this one as a fold out. And then leave the, put the next one as a pocket or, you know, I'll glue it down here and here and there'll be a little side tuck. So there we go. It's on and it's a page. So I make sure I keep my pages in order because these pages are not numbered. Uh, let's see. I don't want these all in a row. So I'm going to disperse them throughout. And this one, let's see, this one's damaged. It's got something going on. Oh, that's where I tore it out of the paper pad and it kind of left a little something going on there with the where it was glued into the paper pad. So I want to cut that off. Let's see if I cut that off. Will it be still enough to use? Yeah, it'll still be enough to make a little side tuck. Okay, so I cut that piece off, that damaged piece. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another side fold but this one I'm going to glue down and make a side tuck make sure it's all square yes it is keep my book page in order got to be really careful about that because I you can it's happened that's why I keep saying that <laughs> it's very so easy to get the pages mixed up and then you're like okay let's figure out this story <laughs> and how this goes you know what I mean 
and if you, I don't think I've ever read this story. Like, if it's a story you know, it's one thing. But if it's a story you don't know, then it's quite another thing. Okay, let me see. I think um, it's about time for me to go. So, like this one, I'll go ahead and punch it. Um, yeah, I, I know which side I want because my fold's on the other side. I'm not going to put it right here. Like I said, I don't want it right next to that other page that's from the same paper pack. So, I'm going to put it back here. And it'll be it'll be a page back there, but I'm not ready to put it on the on the rings yet, right? And then this one, same thing. I'd like to do something different with this one. Let me see. I just think I'm going to have to end now. I don't want my video to run out, so I might cut this off and then turn it around and put it down here, glue it down here for a pocket. I think I'll do that. That's what I'm doing. So I'll see you in my next video working on this journal. I'll try to do as much as I can on video, especially if it's something I think that you haven't seen. So uh, happy crafting and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my new subbies and all my, uh, you know, I don't want to say old subbies, but current, you know, previous subbies. And, uh, and thank you for subscribing, commenting and liking and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.